Up with it, girl. Rock with it, girl. Shot them it, girl. Bad bang bang. Up with it, girl. Rock with it, girl. Shot them it, girl. Bad bang bang. Up with it, girl. Rock with it, girl. Shot them it, girl. Bad bang bang. Hey, my gorgeous, fit and fabulous crew. Today's crochet slay is this natural looking twist out using Bobby Boss skinny twist. Can I just tell y'all, this is my favorite hair ever. It is the first hair I used when I first started crocheting braiding my hair one year ago, and it's been my favorite ever since. Now, in this video, I'm also going to touch on some of the challenges of achieving a full look when you have the shade size and undercut. So don't go anywhere, stay right where you are. Make sure you join the crew by hitting that subscribe button before we get into the video. Okay, now that we got the first order of business out of the way. <laughs> hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Michelle Miko Dean. And today I'm going to talk to you about this gorgeous, natural looking twist out, crochet style that I am wearing. Now, this is the Bobby Ball Skinny Twist. If you guys have ever watched any of my other hair tutorials, you have probably heard me say that Bobby Ball Skinny Twist is my all-time number one favorite crochet hair ever, hands down. So I, this is the first hair that I used, the first time I did a crochet installation on my hair. The very first time I used Molly hair, that was an epic fail, but the very first successful crochet install was using the Bobby Ball Skinny Twist, and I have loved that hair ever since, both in the 12 inch and the eight inches. One of the reasons why it is my favorite hair is because there is minimum shedding and minimum matting with Bobby Boss hair. It is just a higher quality hair, even though it doesn't really cost that much. So the price point is about the same as, you know, the outtrays and the free tresses, but the quality to me is just so much better. And people just really sleep on Bobby Boss hair here on YouTube. Um, Bobby Boss did come out with some new styles that I think people are gonna start to experiment with, and so you'll probably see a lot more um, of those video tutorials coming up in the next few months. But people are, I think, just totally sleeping on Bobby Boss hair. But anyway, just a little bit about the hair. So I bought the hair at my local beauty supply store for $5.99 a pack. But you can get this hair at any online beauty supply retailer. It has been around for years. And so most beauty supply stores will carry uh, the Bobby Boss Skinny Twist. So what I love about this hair right off the bat is the natural texture and just how big and how voluminous it is. Because I have the shade size and the undercut, that having volume can be a challenge for me because we don't have hair at the bottom. And so when you see other uh, ladies rocking their crochet styles and you love the hair, they're gorgeous, and I've done it. I've bought that hair and tried to achieve that same look. And it's very difficult to do sometimes, depending on the hair, because we don't have the bulk here, right? And so our styles, uh, the, 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 the shave side crew, our styles can look a little flat if we don't choose the right crochet hair. So, so what I did is I installed a full twist in the back and all along the perimeter, and that was so I could have the additional bulk to give me that full uh, end look that I was going for. But as I got to the top, right up in here, maybe like this U shape here, I separated each strand one time. So I separated one strand into two, and I installed that um, right in the front section. Um, again, for less bulk, and then also for a more natural finished look. And you know, I always use the invisible knot method along my perimeter and also on my sides. So anywhere where the knots will be exposed, um, that's where I use the invisible knot method. So I'm just gonna let you get into the video. I um, do show you my Miko Method braiding pattern, which has been such a lifesaver in making my crochet styles look more natural, um, particularly at the hairline. And I'm also gonna share with you uh, some tips on insulation, the insulation process, when you have shave size and, and an undercut. So, so this is my braiding pattern. I have seven cornrows going straight to the back. I do connect the center braids into one braid. I have seven in the front and six in the back. I always sew down my last cornrow because I cut my crochet braids when I remove them and I don't want to risk cutting my hair. I always use my Miko Method braiding pattern and I create this braiding pattern to prevent my crochet braids from sliding away from my hairline when I pull my hair into updo. So what I do is I just install a roll of individual braids right before my cornrow start and I just include that individual braid in the cornrow going straight back. So I'm gonna include uh, the link to that video showing you exactly how I do my Miko Method braiding pattern. 
And this is the hair that I'm using by Raw Skinny Twist in 12 inches and I use the color 1B. And you can see I have four packs of hair that I use for this installation. If you have a full head of hair, I would recommend doubling that and using eight packs. This is what the hair looks like in the pack. They are pre-twisted and pre-looped. You get about 10 to 12 strands in each pack. This hair is very easy to work with. You can twist it easily and you can also separate it very easily without a lot of frizzing and shedding. I always like to start my crochet insulation in the back because I use the invisible knot method and it takes a little bit longer. So I like to do it when I'm fresh and I'm not tired. I install the hair about one finger width apart and that's because this hair gets very full and so you don't want to overcrowd it. You want to make sure there's a lot of space in between when you're installing it because you can always go back and add more hair. It's more difficult to take hair out after you complete your crochet installation. I separate the twists before I install them so I don't have to worry about separating them afterwards. And on the sides, I am still spacing the hair one finger width apart and I'm using the invisible knot method. So if your hair looks fabulous when you show your shaved sides. And you can see with the invisible knot method, none of your knots are exposed when you do your side sweep and you pull your hair up into updos. I look in the mirror to see where I want to place my next crochet braid. As you can see, I am placing them one to two finger widths apart so there's less bulk in my finished look. And in the back, I just use the regular crochet knotting method. Um, you won't see these knots, so there's no need to use the invisible knot method in the back of your hair. In the front, I am still installing the hair one to two finger widths apart, and I'm using the invisible knot method for multiple parting and styling options. In the front, I also separated the strands into two strands uh, for a more natural looking hairline and less bulk. Now, when you are using the invisible knot method, you want to insert the crochet needle towards the part so your knot will be on the opposite side of the part and your hair will flip over and cover the knot. And we're all done. I did go back and fill in any gaps as necessary and you can see with the invisible knot method, none of your knots are exposed. This looks a lot more natural. And guys, this hair looks even more natural as it starts to frizz. So you're gonna be able to get a good month or two wear out of this hair. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you are loving this twist out as much as I do. If you did, drop down, give me a little like. Also, make sure you join the Fit and Fat crew by hitting that subscribe button. Also guys, leave me some comments. Let me know what your favorite crochet hair is. I would love to hear what styles you're rocking right now.